Well, hello everybody. How are we all doing today? Yeah, we had a microburst or some straight line winds come through about 4.30 this morning. And uh, it happened right before Miss Linda went to work. I got up and I couldn't believe it. I thought the house was gonna come off the foundation. So they had a lot of storm, storm slash wind damage uh, to the north of us and a little bit to the west. Uh, I haven't seen any reports of injuries or whatnot, but hey, guess what? <laughs> yeah, I'm still packing. And uh, I'll be leaving in the morning, rain or shine. I think it's going to be a little chilly, uh, but I'll have, I'm sure I'll have my Milwaukee heated vest, my leather coat, my chaps and all that stuff on. But yeah, I've been packing. I'm not just going to the spring fling, y'all. By the way, welcome to Lone Cowboy Adventures. I'm Ken and uh, glad you're here. Hit the thumbs up for me, please. And uh, I've, I've been working, packing all afternoon. And I don't know, I'll just open the, the bags here and show you what all I'm, I've got in here. All right, this one here, I've got gloves and gloves. I have a rain cover. I've got tools down below. I got my rain gear back here and uh some tire plugs just in case i've i've always had tire plugs with me on my trips um i have a tarp i have my full face helmet and a leg bag sometimes i i like having that leg bag and uh let's go over here I have my sleeping bag. It's good to uh, 40 degrees. I have my tent, French press. I have a propane burner and, and a little air mattress to put into the tent. Um, this here, I have my uh, bag with clothes in it. I have my personal protection, and underneath there, I don't think I have anything else. Oh, some trash bags, maybe. Oh, let's see here. And then this, in my trunk so far, I've actually been working on my camera equipment, my laptop, and stuff like that. I have a Jackery with me, and I have a USB light that I can plug into my Jackery for light when I'm camping. And uh, I'm bringing some zip ties. It's I always use zip ties sometimes when I've got extra stuff. I have some bungee cords, power cords, uh, do-rag for my head. I've got another one in the house. I have some wrap. Oh, here. Let me show you something else. Also got some stickers here. I've only got 50 of them. But there, you can kind of see it there. Here. Just a second here. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. Here we go. I think I can get it. There we go. There. How's that? Is that better? Say hello to a stranger. Lone Cowboy Adventures. What do you guys think about those? Um, and then this bag here, I have some towels and stuff. And then, of course, my laptop. Um, my propane bottle that I'm bringing is on the other side over here, I think. Yeah, it's right in there. And then, of course, this, this bag also has a rain cover in here. I think I put some stuff in there. I don't remember what it was. Oh, my coffee. Yeah. I put my coffee in there for my French press. So, yeah. 
Uh, it's, so yeah, I've got another bag that can go on the on the luggage rack or on top of this this other bag here. I'll zip tie it to it or tie it to it or oh and then the thing I've got some paracord with me. So yeah. It's uh it's been a mind boggling process packing for a trip. And as you all probably know, we all forget something probably, right? <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I might make a special stop on the way out of town, uh, about an hour south of town, or south of where I live anyway, probably about 45 minutes or so from here. And uh, I got a couple boys down there I need to stop in and say hi. Maybe have a bowl of Fruit Loops or whatever they're having. I don't know. I think they eat pretty darn healthy. Maybe some fruit or something. So I need to stop in and say, say hi to those boys and, and uh, give them a hug and whatnot. So, yeah. I haven't talked to them, talked about them very much on here. I just, yeah, I just figured I'd uh, mention it. So, yeah, I have two grandsons. I have, uh, well, I actually have three grandsons uh and two granddaughters and then another grandchild on the way it's supposed to be i think may or june it, you know time flies when you're having fun you can't keep track of them so yeah uh i do have uh some first aid stuff that i'm bringing in my toiletry bag or whatever you want to call it, toiletry and <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. I got some dude wipes. Has anybody used dude wipes, you know? They're dude wipes, but they're, like, for, you know, if you want to clean up really good, like if you took a shower, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's just in case, you know? I don't get a shower. Might as well clean up a little bit and refresh yourself, right? So, yeah. I'm pretty excited, uh, and I, I, I would be lying if I told you I wasn't nervous, because, uh, gosh, last solo trip I ever took was back in 19, and that was my very first long trip out west. Uh, I actually uh, I actually pulled a little trailer behind my 2018 road glide on that trip, went up over Beartooth Pass, and was was I... Yeah, I was nervous. I just seen one other thing that I need to bring, and that is my little chair. Yeah, this little folding chair, it sits real low to the ground, you know, so you can relax. So, I'm basically winging it after Eureka Springs. I don't know where I'm gonna end up, where I'm going. Well, I do kind of know where I'm going. If y'all didn't catch the live the other night, um, I'm going to go to Shreveport, Louisiana. And, uh, I got some relatives, distant relatives down there that I'm going to pay a visit to. So stay tuned for that. Um, and keep the notifications turned on. I appreciate it. I don't know how much video and all I'm going to do down there at Eureka Springs at Spring Fling, but, uh, you know, we'll just see if, uh, see how it goes you know i am sure i'll be videoing some rides and whatnot or the ride with adam sandoval so yeah anyway i'm gonna jump off of here and uh it was funny because that tree broke up broken half came off and the, the top of that tree was laying against the fence and the fence was leaning towards the ditch and i text my neighbor i said hey you got a tree I thought it was the whole tree. That tree's probably, I don't know, 100 years old, maybe. Uh, the original, uh, my neighbor's dad, it's, he grew up on the other side there. And, uh, he said that tree's been there ever since he was a kid. So, And he's probably 65, 68 something like that maybe i don't know 62 to 70 years old and uh yeah 
but they brought the tractor in and moved that tree from away away from the fence. Of course, it didn't take long for them calves to uh, <laughs> eat the leaves off of it, and they've been in there scratching. So, yeah. Luckily, nobody got hurt that I know of. And the sun is coming out, out west. I think the high in the morning is going to be in the 40s, maybe. So, yeah. Everybody be safe and say hi to a stranger, will you? I'm going to be saying hi to a lot of people down there, you know. And uh, wave at a police officer and thank a veteran, y'all. So we'll see y'all on the next one. Say bye. Hi, Pig Pig. Huh?